welcome back. We have four main antiarrhythmic drug classes, class 1, 2, 3, and 4. Class 1 is subdivided into A, B, and C. And in this video, we'll be talking about antiarrhythmic drugs, class 1C. This includes the medications flicanide and propafenone. These are extremely potent sodium channels blockers. So they're reserved for patients with arrhythmia where everything else has failed. Unlike class 1A, the molecules of this medication cling into the sodium channels and keep them blocked for a long time. This increases the refractory period significantly, which means that after the cardiac muscle contracts, it has to wait a long time to contract again. And in the world of myocardium, this means a couple milliseconds more. So they're mainly used for severe atrial fibrillation, supraventricular tachycardia, or resistant arrhythmias. If used in a susceptible patient, where the myocardium is not very stable, they can actually induce arrhythmia. Now let's have a little quiz. So which of the following cardiac phases is affected by these drugs? And here is the answer. Alright guys, that's all I have. Hopefully this helps. And thank you so much for watching.